Two Boy, Boxer of the World Championships in 2000. And 15 after reaching the quarterfinals of the Asian Championships earlier in the same year. Former Japanese national champion. Manuel Kapai will be coming out of the blue corner. Very experienced fighter. Double Olympian. Got to the Olympic Games in London. Also in Rio. And this is his third World Championship. He boxed in Kazakhstan in 2013. Hamburg in 2017. Both times getting to the quarterfinals. Bronze medal at the European Games in Minsk in 2019. Probably his best result in a major competition, but those quarterfinal berths in the World Championships, you could argue, are, are more impressive, actually. James Backles of Trinidad and Tobago, our referee, just checking those gloves. And bantamweight is the only division that we haven't seen yet. 13 weight divisions in operation in this World Championships, more than there's ever been before. It's the 21st edition of the IEBA Men's World, started in Havana in Cuba in 1974. The second one was here, actually, in Belgrade. In Serbia in 1978. It used to be every four years and then they increased it to every two years. It's unusual this year because it comes straight off the back of an Olympic Games which it never normally would. Usually it's a year and a bit, a year and a couple of months after the Olympics but we all know why. Things have been different recently so quite a high turnover. There's lots of new faces here because as is customary at the end of an Olympic cycle a lot of international amateurs decide to turn professional or some of them just decide that they've done enough. So two boy of Japan in the red, Kapai of Italy in the blue. Stooping in with a jab there, two boy, some quite extravagant sound effects coming from him as well. He looks like an exuberant kind of a fighter, looking for an overhand right there. Left hand on the inside was an accurate punch that got through. The kind of noise he makes when he's letting his shots go, Sue Boy, it's like the kind of noise you would hear on an old-fashioned arcade game, an old-fashioned shoot-em-up. Good right hand on the inside there from Kapai. Suboy came in looking for his own overhand right, committed to it, didn't land it, and Kapai, who just slipped underneath it, then brought the right hand up. He looks like he's going to come flying in from the outside, Suboy. That's going to be his method. He'll give away height and reach in almost every fight he has. So he'll be well used to that. Nice left hand there from Suboy. Just caught Kapai as he was on his way out. And he's not going to try and bob and weave his way in. He'll stay on the outside like he is there and then take those feet in quick. And then look to get back out. Short with the right hand there, Suboy. Chopping down with the right hand, Kapai didn't miss by much with that. Jabs the body there from Sue Boy. He's thrown more in this opening round. He's been energetic. Not that much has landed. So in terms of picking between these two, and punches landed. There's very little in it. Left hand got through there from Suboy. Kapai again tried to come back with a right to the body, but didn't manage to land it that time. 
because of the follow-up jab from Suboy, that overhand right missed again. He slipped the overhand right, the Italian, but then the jab just knocked him slightly backward, which, which meant he didn't land his right hand. So the end of the first round. And the greater uh, work rate and activity there of, of Suboy, I think we'll probably see him win that one. And overall, he's probably outlanded Kapai there too. So a clean set of 10 nines there for Suboy. There won't really be a style that Kapai hasn't seen given how long he's been at top international amateur level. It's nearly a decade boxed in the Olympic Games in London in 2012, as I mentioned, when he would have been 19 then. So he'll need to make some adjustments for this second and third round. In that first round, he was happy to kind of let Sue Boy come to him. As I said, Sue Boy's going to stand on the outside and look to close that gap quickly. He doesn't want to hang around on the inside. That's not what he's about. There we go, jab to the body. And then pulls those feet straight back out. I think Kapai might have to be a bit more aggressive here. Nice jab there from Sue Boy. You can't just let the Japanese fighter constantly lead off and look to counter him. I don't think that's necessarily going to work. Looking for the jab there, Kapai. Jab is key here because Suboy, as I said, comes launching himself in from a long way out. If he can catch him with a jab as he's coming in, then that will make a difference. He is short, Suboy, as I mentioned, and when he's on his way, in particularly with that jab to the body, he really does drop his height like he did there. He dips to his right hand side and he's practically down at Kapai's waist almost. Kapai looking for the jab, trying to throw the one-two off the back of it. <laughs> Led off with the right hand there, Sue Boyd. Followed it with the left hook. At least one of those two landed. final minute of round two and it's been fairly similar to round one. Kapai looking to try and close in there and land the right hand but he's struggling with the style here of two boy. As I say he just he comes in from the outside he comes in quick and when he throws that jab to the body he dips very low and it's hard to counter him and again with the the right hand to the body there too then just came up to the head. He varies the height well and Kapai's not yet found a, a way of dealing with it. Again there with the jab. It was kind of a double jab. The first one didn't make it, the second one did. He just kept taking the feet in. What he does do well, Sue Boy, too, is because he comes in from the outside like that, he always takes his feet with him. You don't see him overbalance and chase anything in. He completely commits to it with his feet. Backs himself to get in, throw, land and get back out. He's not pulling out of the punch before he's thrown it, which you often see in, in amateur boxing. Ten nines again there for two boys. So he's, he's in control here. Sometimes you'll see fighters, not so much now, actually with the 10 point must which has been in operation for well eight years but when it was computer point scoring you would see fighters pulling out almost before they'd even thrown the punch because they wanted to just land and get back out make sure they didn't get counted and Suboy 
he's that kind of fighter, really. He's looking to get in land and, and take those feet back away. But he's got the confidence to take them all the way in to where they need to be to, to, to allow him to land. Kapai's just never got to grips with him. There's that jab to the body again. to round three and it's the same again Kapai looking to throw that right hand Suboy tries to come back with one of his own to Southpaw here Kapai but he's been dictated to here by Suboy Suboy has been setting the agenda in this fight right from the very very start good jab there from the Japanese fighter the final minute and this has been a good performance for the 25 year old Tomoya Tsuboi prior to this had his best year in 2015 got to the quarterfinals of the Asian championships qualified him for the world championships in Doha won the Japanese title the year after that since then he's not done much actually gets his opportunity at this world championships uh, as plenty of fighters have because I mentioned earlier on a lot of good boxers have disappeared out of the system that's what happens at the end of an Olympic cycle so it's why elite level international amateur boxing for me is so interesting because you get these these new generations coming through basically once every four years it just keeps everything fresh that means people get a chance maybe people whose careers have stagnated a bit could get a chance and that's exactly what's happened with Sue Boy there and he's taken his chance in with somebody a lot more experienced than him and quite honestly he's beaten him easily ladies and gentlemen we now proceed with the bout number 195 in the ring a in a man's bantam weight division ringside judges from italy canada republic of korea sweden and egypt referee in the ring alexander kanira from uzbekistan Two boy goes through. And as I said, that was an impressive performance, I thought. He's got his method. It was very, very effective. And he's got some real confidence about him as well. Kapai just sitting on the bottom rope there to allow his opponent to leave the ring. He's been a good fighter for a long time, for a really long time. Books a lot in WSB. He's had lots of fights, Kapai. I just wonder really off the back of that performance whether the whether the gears have gone. He just didn't really have it in him to to match Sue Boy for for work rate, for activity, to really step to him and try and put it on him and get a hold of him and, and rough him up a bit or just do what or just find a way basically. It just didn't seem to be there. 
could just have been an off day. 